v rámci projektu Knihovnický svět v Hrnci. Dnes se podíváme k protinožcům a o australských specialitách, tradicích a kultuře si budu povídat s Danielem Vellerem. Dobrý den, jmenuji si Daniel Veller a dneska budu při- připravit jednoduchý australskou snídanu. Uh, so today we have some very simple ingredients. We have butter, maslo, uh, bread, chleba, eggs, vajíčka, avocado, avocado, uh, lemon, citron, uh, grenade apple, granatový avoko, uh, feta cheese, takže feta sír, parsley, petržel, <laughs> uh, vinegar, ocet, salt, pepper. And I also brought along some Vegemite. Mm-hmm. Australská pomazánka z trožďového extraktu. I'll just take the, the food out of the pomegranate and prepare the avocados as well. We obviously won't need it all, so I'll just take a little bit out. It's quite messy, as you can see. That'll be enough, I think. have some uh, pomegranate fruit or seeds ready. We just cut the avocado. You know, the avocados here are often not perfect, so you have to cut a bit off. problém, že se nedaří koupit úplně zralé. Máš nějaký tip, jak to udělat, když se koupí tvrdé a dá se vlastně nějak dělat, připravit ně, ně, něco? So I, I never I never buy the green avocados. There are two types of avocados. One one's brown. This one the, the has. Aha, takže jsou avocado. dva typy avokáda. And then there are the green zelené avocados. Zelené a hnědé. Ani ty teda nikdy nekupuješ no, ty zelené. No, no. Mm-hmm. Because they they never they never oh, from my experience they never ripen here ever. Aha. They just go from nikdy high mm-hmm. to off. But these ones the has ones if they're soft but not too soft mm-hmm. then jsou, then they're they're ripe. Když nejsou příliš měkké, yeah. tak jsou. And if you akorát. if you buy them with um, uh, if you buy them a bit harder and then you leave them with um, some bananas, mm-hmm. they they ripen. The banana Aha. ripens the, the avocados. Takže když, když koupíme trošku ještě tvrdé a dáme je z banány dohromady, tak ty banány pomůžou tím avokádům uzrát, ano? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like um, apples with um, tomatoes. Zajímavý. So that they release some chemical that, that ripens the, the fruit. Jablka s uh, rajčaty. Yeah, if you have like green green tomatoes, then okay. So I'll just add some lemon to the avocado. Rough, roughly. Citronu. I'm not sure. A bit less than half. 
Mm-hmm. A lemon per one avocado, maybe a, a quarter. Takže o něco méně než půlku citronové Citronu. šťávy. Mm-hmm. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. Přidáme sůl a pepř. Very, very simple. This, this bowl isn't ideal, but just mash it sort of, so that the lemon, salt, pepper are all mixed together. Mm-hmm. Takže jenom takhle. Yeah. Promačkáme vyvědličkou třeba stačí mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. a promícháme všechno dohromady. Tahle pepře je pro kolik lidí? Depends how much avocado you like. I like avocado, so for me this would be perfect for two bigger pieces of bread or toast. Aha, takže na dva na dva chleby toustové nebo na dva plátky prostě chleba. Maybe. Podle toho, jak, jak, jak velcí milovníci avokáda jsme tady. Yeah, I, I, I love avocado, so... Mm-hmm. But it would look, maybe I'll put it in uh, something else, because it would look nicer. But, I don't know, maybe I can just put it on here? Jo, můžeme přendat na tam. Mm-hmm. Super simple. And maybe we can prepare the pomegranate next to it. Daniel, je typické pro Australany mít třeba větší snídaní nebo? Yeah, I think I think traditionally we like. Mm-hmm. We like a bigger, a bigger breakfast if there's time, but mm-hmm. but definitely on 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 a week on a weekend I would have a have a big breakfast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Suppose similar. It's, it's very similar to an, an English breakfast. You know, most most cafes will offer a, or restaurants will offer an English breakfast, but then there are many alternatives, more maybe healthier alternatives. So instead of just mm-hmm. bacon and eggs and and um, Baked beans or beans, they now have, you know, mushrooms, spinach, avocado, mm-hmm. feta cheese, um, lots of different alternatives. Mm-hmm. Takže se dá říct, že velké snídaně jsou pro Australiany typické, ale yeah, zvlášť o víkendech. Yeah, I think much, much more than here. Here there's people go to a restaurant for lunch or for dinner. Uh, in Australia it's typical to go for a large brunch. Uh-huh. I'll break a couple of eggs again. It depends how many how many eggs a person wants. So I'd usually have two eggs for breakfast. Takže podle chutí přidáme jedno nebo dvě vejce, a nebo i více. So we add a little bit of vinegar into the water. To Dali jsme si vařit vodu a přidáváme ocet. Just to make the egg hold together. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how much. There is no amount that I have put, just a bit, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I quite like the taste of the, the um, vinegar. So. Takže to je, je to kvůli tomu, aby to vejce drželo pohromadě, je to ztracené, anebo teda je to spíš kvůli té chuti, kterou máš tam rád? I think it's because it holds the egg together. Aha, But tak. I also like the, the flavor. So maybe I add too much. Dobře, že Daniel má rád chuť odstav v tom a pravděpodobně je to z důvodu, aby to ovej se drželo pohromadě a tvár. Chystáme se na pracená vejce. Daniel, jak je správný postup, prosím? Um, there's a lot that can go wrong. <laughs> Takže But, je, je zde mnoho věcí, co se dá zkazit. Or at least, at least of, often the egg doesn't entirely hold together as, as it should. Um, Ale často se stává, že tedy vejce nedrží pohromadě tak, jak bychom chtěli. At least not for mm-hmm. me. Jak se to naučil ty? Um, so when I used to work in a, in a cafe when I was a teenager, I just watched how they used to do it. Mm-hmm. Takže když Daniel pracoval v kavárně, dříve jako, jako dítě? Yeah, like a teenager when I was um, studying. Dobře. 
tak uh, si to zkrátka okoukal v kavárně, jak se to dělá, když připravovali snídaně. Ano, je to tak? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I just make the, the, water, the water should be boiling lightly. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it needs to be turning. The water needs to be... Dobře, takže vodu přivedeme k varu a musí... And then you need to drop the egg into the water. But ca- catch it on the spoon so that it doesn't dissipate into the water. Držíme vajíčko na lžičce. Já jsem přiznám, že to nikdy nedělala, takže... This is how I do it, but I, I, I have it spinning. A pojďme blíž, budeme se na to dívat blízka. Spinning lightly, I then keep the spoon under the water and I drop the egg into Dobře, the water. Dobře, voda se musí točit. And then, and then keep it spinning. This one didn't hold together very well, but you... Musí se teda voda stále točit, musíme udržovat. Seems that it's sort of... Yeah. A teď je to dobře nebo špatně? No, oh, it's it's okay. It's it's not ideal. Není to ideální, ale it, it jasný. Aha, žloutek tam zůstal. Skvělý. Maybe it should have been turning turning a bit more. A budeme tam dát ještě druhé, zároveň. Jo. Dobrá. Jdeme na to. Točíme. Jo, yeah, they will be fine. Takže já jsem si, že jsme vodu nesolili. Does it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm, no. Že máš později. And then now we need to turn it up a little bit so that it boils again. And then you leave it, depending on how you like your eggs, you leave it for a number of minutes. Dobrá, takže záleží, uh, jak uh, máme vejce rádi, zřejmě si, my říkáme na hněličko. A nebo na tvrdo. So, so, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. if, if you like mm-hmm. it runny, ano. I would say that maybe the minimum to leave it there would be three minutes. Dobře. In boiling water. Takže od tří do třeba deseti minut, to je moc? Ne, 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 ne. Ne, to ne. Uh, um, I would say it would be definitely hard in like five minutes, for Dobře. sure. Dobře. Takže uvnitř to bude ten žloudek tvrdý do pěti minut. Yeah, so four minutes is safe, that it will be relatively Dobře. soft, uh-huh. but not too runny. Ideálně čtyři minut. So, I'm, I'm just putting the, you know, it's very difficult, putting the avocado onto the bread uh, you know in a good a good amount Takže relativně snadná příprava <laughs> Rozetřeme avokádovou pomazánku na chleba Mhm yeah Ge- generously Ano je to jemně a ozdobíme se zdá Jo you can throw some Mhm pomegranate on it which is nice it adds some sweetness and some a little bit of sourness as well depending mm-hmm. on the And then I would crumb. The feather hasn't been opened yet, but I would crumb some feather onto it as well. So then you can crumb. Na probíme tedy. Šude. Feta sír. Máš to tak nejraději, můžeme třeba do fetelu zaměnit nějakým jiným sírem? Máš no, nějaký typ? To, to be honest, feta is something that they, they use more, or I saw that they used a lot more when I was in Australia. Uh-huh. I don't usually put, put any feta. I usually just have it to, with avocado. Takže, takže spíš typické je úplně bez toho síru, je to spíš uh, they, to, co ty máš. In, in Australia they do use the feta a lot, but, but I prefer it without. Je takhle. Takže v Austrálii to And then um, you can put the, the eggs on top. This one worked out nicely. It should should be good. This one you can see that it's it's separated too much. It won't be so soft. And then you can put some maybe some parsley on top. Exactly. I, I, I also usually use um, use maybe some rucola as well. Mm-hmm. Um, or some salad like polniček. Yes, some polniček, rukolu, cokoliv asi co. And um, yeah, we can add it to the top. Yeah, I put some pepper because I like pepper. Mm-hmm. And we didn't we didn't salt the eggs before, so. Yes, we didn't salt the eggs before, so. Yes, we didn't salt the eggs before, so. And then, yeah, that's it. And it's ready. Yeah, it's ready. So this would maybe be a relatively typical breakfast in uh, an Australian cafe. Maybe it would be a little bit bigger than, than this. But... <laughs> Takže typická australská snídaně, možná i svačinka v 
australskej kavárne. No, to je prázdne. Aha, takže když to rozkrojíme, tak by to mělo vypadat přesně tak? For me, yeah, I, I like jo. it like this, but, but someone else may like it a little bit harder. And this one, will, this one would be more hard. Tak, this won't run as much. Prčí. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To je asi na každém. Já se ještě vrátím zpátky k té kvasnicové pomazánce, kterou jsme do receptu nepoužili. Dovolím si přičichnout. A musím být upřímná, že mě to nepříliš nevoní. Je to o zvyku, jak se to používá a kdy se to teda jí. Takže tak já to přeložím. Pokud na tom doslova nevyrosteme, jestli to tak můžu přeložit, tak nám to pravděpodobně prý nebude chutnat. Takže je to něco, co už si jedl jako malé dítě, asi byl si na to zvyklý. Mm-hmm. Maže se to na chleba, nebo mm-hmm. jak? Yeah, yeah. You, you spread it on, on toast, usually. My to tady máme na obrázku. Yep, so like this, spread on toast with, uh, some people prefer it with butter. Mm-hmm. Takže I prefer můžeme with, použít i s máslem, jo. Yeah. yeah, which I prefer, more butter than mm-hmm. Vegemite. Mm-hmm. But my, my father, for example, can eat a very thick Uh, layer on the toast uh, without any butter and he, he loves it. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ty jsi říkal uh, ještě předtím, že jste to jí dávali, když vám bylo špatně. Má to efekt teda na... I'm, I'm not sure, but, but, uh, but my, my mom used to give it to us when we were sick, but without butter. We just, we just got Vegemite on, on toast. to jak od maminky jako děti, když, když vám nebylo dobře. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's Daniel, right. jak jsi tady dlouho v Čechách? Um, uh, about 11 years now, 10, 10 or 11 years. 11 let. Uh-huh. A odkud pocházíš? Um, from Australia. <laughs> from, um, from Melbourne. Takže z Melbourne. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, jak se ti tady žije u nás? Yeah, I, I like it here a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very happy. I have a beautiful partner here and um, uh, five beautiful children. Mm-hmm. Takže so. Daniel má pět dětí a je zde spokojený. Mm-hmm. Uh, je, můžeš nám říct, jaký je rozdíl mezi žitím třeba tady a v Austrálii? Obecně, nebo mám se ptát uh, specifičtěji na něco konkrétního? It's difficult question, I, I suppose. To, ano. <laughs> Every, everywhere in the world is, is different to live with, with different habits. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would say, you know, an obvious one, the Czech people are usually a little bit more reserved than Australian mm-hmm. people. So Takže um, Češi jsou více, si udrží odstup, bych řekla, jo, jsou více rezervovaní. To, uh, to begin with, Aha. I would say. Mm-hmm. Well, once, you, once you get to know them, I, I don't think it's like that. Do té doby, než je poznáme. Mm-hmm. Takže jsou Australiani více otevření? I think it's easier to talk to to someone in uh, on the street or Dobře. or something like that. Že se na, třeba i na ulici lepší jako by navazují kontakty. Yeah, tady. definitely. We, we, there is more communication between between uh, people who don't want, uh, know one another. Uh-huh. Definitely. A tak určitě je to země s mnoha kulturami, že jo? Tam je mnoho kultur, a daleko více než zde. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so. One thing that I do miss sometimes is the is the, the different types of food that you can get. Mm-hmm. I really love uh, Asian food, Thai food, v- Vietnamese food, uh, mm-hmm. different different types of food, uh, which in Pisek, as you know, it, it can be mm-hmm. difficult to to find lots of different types of food because mm-hmm. they're. Takže by si přivítal větší rozmanitost v těch potravinách, které nabídce tady? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Dobrá. Uh, co je třeba takové fópa v Austrálii? Je, ně, je něco, co by, když bych něco udělala, tak by se to považovalo jako fópa? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's, uh, I think pr- probably by, uh, there would be more things you would do here, an Australian would do here that would be culturally uh, strange or... A ne, a bylo by divné nebo nepřátelné, spíš jako Australáni, uh, že by spíš byli schopni udělat nějaký fopa zde, myslíš tak? I, I think so, yeah. Aha, aha. But I can't think of any, anything now. I, uh, you know, big, a big difference would be that, that we're uh, always asking one another questions. You know, you're in a shop, people are asking how are you? Uh-huh. What are you doing today? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, you sort of strike up a conversation with anyone here. People look at you quite strangely if you start talking to them. <laughs> jasně, jasně. Takže takové ty běžné otázky pro Australana, jako když přijdeme do krámu a, a zeptá se nás prodavačka, jak se máme a takový, tak to tady není úplně běžný. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jasně. And you, and you get some pretty scary answers here. Už <laughs> 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 se ti to stalo někdy? 
Yeah, many times. Yeah. I, 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 I still like to ask people how, how they are, uh -huh. but, but in Australia it's typical, you just get fine, good, not too bad. Um, you know, it's very quick answers here. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes someone in a bad mood takes the opportunity to complain, which we, we don't do. We, we, even, if, even if you were unhappy and someone asks you if you're, how are you, you would uh -huh. say, fine, okay, I'm doing well. Jo. It's always a positive answer, usually. Tak, tak, tak. Takže Australáni nebo vůbec asi uh, anglicky mluví z cíle, mě to tak mají, že na otázku, jak se máte, uh, odpovídáte pozitivně, i když, uh, i když je třeba to tak nemyslíte, nebo i když se tak jako, že dobře nemáte. Takže to je asi ten rozdíl, přesně tak, že lidé v Čechách jako často řekne, že já jsem mám prostě mám problémy a tak, yeah. že? Yeah. Takže to, to, je, to je možná pro vás takový divný, že třeba nevíš, jak reagovat? Yeah, it, uh, it can be uncomfortable. Jo, je ti to nepohodlné, nepříjemný, když... Uh, yeah, but, but on the other hand, I... I jakože osobní I, příliš možná. It can be mm -hmm. too personal. Ta, ta, ta. But then I, I did ask the question, so it's, you know, my Aha. fault. Jasně, jasně. Já musím na Daniela prozradit, že umí uh, velmi dobře česky, ale <laughs> naše konverzace tady je zvláštní, já mluvím česky, on mi odpovídá anglicky, <laughs> překládá. Ale Daniel se prostě jenom stydí, takže jsme to vyřešili tímhle způsobem, že stydí se mluvit česky, yeah. ale mluvíš česky. I don't, I don't particularly like being on the camera and speaking English, but uh, I definitely don't want to speak Czech. Výborně. <laughs> v žádném případě nebudeme mluvit česky a stydí se před kamerou. <laughs> Výborně. Tak jo, uh, co bychom měli v Austrálii vidět? Když bych jela do Austrálie, kam bych se měla vydat? Um, difficult question. Australia is very big. Je velká so jiná otázka zase. Mnoho hezkého, co vidět. Mm -hmm. as, as, as big as Europe, I suppose, a bit smaller, but, but not, mm -hmm. not that much smaller. Um, I haven't seen that much of it myself. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've only ever traveled really around the, the East Coast, mm -hmm. um, which is a beautiful part of Australia. Um, mm -hmm. Takže východní, východní pobřeží. Yeah, where I suppose most, most people in Australia live along, along the East Coast somewhere, Melbourne, Sydney, Kde Brisbane, Canberra. Mm -hmm. Ano. Um, But uh, my favorite spot is, is northern, northern Queensland, which is um, northeastern Australia on the coast where there's... It's, it's the, the, the nor northeastern coastline. Where there's the, the Great Barrier Reef. Daniel, how is Czech for you? Yeah, Czech, Czech is, is a difficult language, obviously very uh, different to English. Um, I, I don't know. I, I most of the Czech I know I, I picked up by talking to people. Mm -hmm. so, so, a chodil jsi na nějaký kurz? Služoval jsi někdy češtinu? Nebo... La, last year I started to, um, to have some, mm -hmm. some lessons. Mm -hmm. But um, it's difficult because I think that my, my I'm missing On one side I know a lot and then on the other side I, I'm missing all the, the gramatic rules. So um and I don't really have enough time to focus on um on, on learning the language properly. So I sort of mm -hmm. started and gave up pretty pretty quickly. No Something like that, yeah. Ale nejsi před kamerou. Yeah. <laughs> Ještě se ti zeptám na Čechy, jak se ti líbí kultura, nebo bylo pro tebe, bylo pro tebe třeba ta kultura Rady Zámky, byl to šok, bylo to něco, co ti překvapilo? Yeah, it's, 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 žil dříve v Evropě. It's, um, so I, I've, I spent some time traveling around Europe, but I, I think that, um, you know, in, in Australia we don't have as much uh, visible, visible culture. Mm -hmm. so, v Austrálii nemáte tolika kultury, která je na první pohled třeba vidět, nebo yeah, rozpoznatelná pro ostatní. Yeah, not so, uh -huh. not so much uh, visible historical culture, mm -hmm. there is, is historical culture, but it's not, you know, there, are, jako, mm -hmm, there are castles yes. and old churches and things like that. Yeah, it's um, it's it's beautiful. I think it it gives it gives me an opportunity to to think a lot more about um, a connection to the past. So walking yeah, through the, the the streets mm -hmm. or seeing a castle, you can, yeah, mm -hmm. which is uh, something that I didn't have in Australia. It's it's uh, very nice, I think. Nějaké místo, které se ti v Čechách líbilo nejvíc, nebo líbí, které se navštívil. 
um, many places. I've been to many, many beautiful places in the Czech Republic, and there are many, many beautiful places I haven't been. But at the moment, I have to say that I, I'm really in love with Písek. I, I really, I really like Písek. Uh -huh. I, I, I like. Takže nevím, co mám rád Písek. Yeah, I, I think it's it's for me. I come from a you know Melbourne's a, a much larger city. Uh, I'm not sure, close to five million people now. Um, obviously, I came. F I didn't come from the center of Melbourne, but um, uh, Pisek's much smaller. You can get everywhere you need on foot. It has beautiful nature around. Um, you know, Pisecki Hory. Takže pro Daniela přijímá změna z Melbourne. Yeah, and yeah, it's 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 got everything that I need. And máš tady vše po ruce, všude blízko. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's beautiful, natural. Yeah, I love it here. Krásná příroda, máš to tu rád. Yep. To jsme rádi. <laughs> Me too. Já bych ráda poděkovala Danielovi za jeho návštěvu a že nám přinesl trochu exotiky do písecké knihovny. A vás bych ráda pozvala na završení projektu Knihovnický svět v Hrnci, Book and Food Festival, který proběhne 18. září od 10 hodin v knihovně. Těšíme se na vás a uvidíme se spolu s ostatními protagonisty všech osmi workshopů. Thank <laughs> you.